Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to match between Sizedrum and Yakubiom on Rapids. And if you don't know those names, that's because they are kind of newer players. But I figure it's not a bad idea to, from time to time, show games with newer players because they are, well, they're new. And oftentimes players will do appreciate when I have games casted for them. Like, oh yay, I am casted, I'm on YouTube. And they just like that, so I do that. Anyway. Gonna get on to that right away. Not much more to be said about that. Don't really know the players too well, so just have to watch how they play. Sizedrum going for a gunship plant right off the bat. And Yakubium going for hovercrafts, which interesting choice. This map really does favor amphibs. Gunships can work. I've seen it done before, but Amphibious Operations Plant is pretty much this used to be pretty much the map you played Amphib on, and it, only this map. It's I mean Amphib has been buffed quite a lot recently, which is good, but before that buff, Rapids was the only map you ever saw amphibious plots. Our gunships can work too. I mean, this is a lower skill game, so we are going to see a lot of play that, not necessarily optimal, but it is still worth pointing out where it is not optimal, so these players can watch and improve. Anyway, Yakubium, Yakubium going for I don't know, five scrubbers right off the bat. Very aggressive, although not. Is he, I think they might be waiting for all five. At the same time, Sizedrum is going for. What are they going for? Nat and Banshee. Okay, well. Not okay. To be fair, gunship start is rare. You don't usually see gunship start to begin with. Nat and Banshee isn't terrible, but at the same time, it's not really that great. Honestly, I normally you see Black Dawn. That's what you use for gunship. Gunship start is for Black Dawn or maybe Brawler. Getting lots of Banshees can work, but it's kind of tricky just because you the amount of Banshees you need to get is usually about twelve or so. The Nats can sort of help you if you're going for the commander directly, you're going for a commander kill. I really wish that would sync up. I don't know what that is. Like, I, I clicked the mini-map. Why aren't you respecting what I click? Arg! Sorry. <sighs> Spring does not natively support left-clicking on mini-map. We kind of had to hack it in for 0k. But it still doesn't totally sync up necessarily with hitting the arrow keys. So it's rather difficult to have perfectly consistent camera movement. I apologize. So if you're wondering why the camera sometimes jumps back to wherever I was looking, it's because of that. Anyway. Yakubium coming in with his, with their five scrubbers. And, oh, it's actually not working too badly. One of the scrubbers has gone down, although the other scrubbers, one, another one getting stunned out. Well, I guess those gnats are doing a pretty decent job, though I would say that that's really for the calm kill. But hey, Sizedrum has defended against Yakubium's attack. Now Sizedrum needs to go counterattack. Like, right now. Right, right now. There is zero reason to wait. Just attack. Yeah, this is where it's a bit frustrating because they are newer players. So yeah, Sizedrum, if you're watching this, this point would be a really good point to attack. This one dagger is not going to do too much, and forgot, yeah, dagger, not scrubber, name change. That one dagger's not going to do much, and the rest of the daggers are not there. Go for it. You'd win at this point, although maybe not at this point because Razor is up, but you'd win like two minutes prior. The thing to point out is that Sizedrum is going to be attacking pretty soon, most likely. He's gonna they're going to find that Razor, two Razors. And they're going to assume that they could never have attacked in the first place. That is not true. There was about a one or two minute window where they could have attacked. That has closed. That It has closed. This Razor has closed that window. In fact, Sizedrum is going, going to want to go for a ground switch. Right now, with Gunship Plant, it's not going to do any good. Other than maybe taking map control, that's about it. And that's not bad, but still. There was a window to basically win the game. That window has closed. Just worth pointing out. Also to point out that Rapiers have now a Disruptor Missile. So I'm sure they deal about the same amount of damage, but they now have a slow effect on top of that. Bit of a buff that they recently got. Hasn't been pointed out yet. Gunships haven't been used since that buff. Just worth noting. And Sizedrum setting up some radar over at the northwest side of the map. So Sizedrum right now has quite a lot of vision compared to... Actually, you could even Sizedrum have about the same vision. Same radar. Not too far off. Sizedrum... Building up more and more units. He really should be... They really should be building Black Dons. I really should be remembering to say they and not he. Yeah, they really should be building more Black Dons. Rapiers have been buffed, though, so I suppose it could work, but still. Okay, maybe not quite Black... Actually, well, yeah, a Brawler just to take this Razor Shot? I mean, at this point, all these gunships are about to die. They are going to be moving into their death. The one thing that might work out is if the Nats hit the Razors once the Razors are outside of armor mode. Because once the Razors are no longer 
The racers aren't armored when they're not firing, but once they start firing, they stop being armored. They take a lot more damage. The Nats should be able to stun them out at that point, and an aircraft plane coming from Yakubium. Well, no ground switch yet for Seistrum. No Trident either, though he's not aware of this. Still, like I said, bit of map control. He's able to get around this, but the Razor providing a small problem. They have to be careful about where, or sorry, they have to be careful about where they put their forces. There is a Razor out here which hasn't been destroyed. I'm not sure if Seistrum meant to leave that alive or what, but no, it has not been destroyed. Moving his forces together, looks like they're trying to regroup before going for yet another attack. But at the same time, Yakubium coming in with a couple, no, a flail and a halberd. What are the southeast? Uh, Yakubium is pushing forward. He does have his character grab. He is pushing in the metal he needs. While Sizrum switching over to Amphib Plant. There's our Amphib Plant. Sizrum switching over to that. He will be able to build. Surprisingly, he's not building more gunships. He'll probably at least have a Black Knot or something being built up at the same time. But alas, that is not to be right now. And Sizrum is. What the heck? Okay, so I guess he's trying to help out here, but honestly, those units do fine on their own. Guys, just finished the Amphib plant. Bit of a mistake there. From Sizedrum. Now, Yakubium, on the other hand... Wow, Yakubium has hardly any metal left, or any resources in total left, to build this airplane plant. That's gonna take a while. He get, he, they're getting flails up pretty regularly, but still... Not... Not enough. The main thing that's stopping Sizer from getting in the base are these two Razors. Airplane plant coming in, which is being fairly effective. And there we go, the Amphib plant is just about done. Five seconds left. Once the Amphib plant is done, what is that being constructed yet? Five ducks. And okay, there's the Brawler. Wondering when that would happen. The brawler's basically just going to be there for taking damage from the Razors while everything else comes in to tear apart. Everything else. All this stuff can go down as long as these Razors are distracted. If they're not distracted, then there's really no hope. But if they are distracted, then it's not too much of a problem. And in come the ducks as well, with a couple of characters to help out with the amphib plant. Sizrum does have a slight economic advantage, but not much. They're building a lot of defenses, but not a whole lot of economy, especially not in the water. There's quite a lot of metal spots that they could take. Really, they have most of the map under their control, but not going for it, unfortunately, for them at least. Possibly with the conch, they will once that gets constructed. But for now, that will be something we're waiting on. And Silas from now with his gunships, perhaps waiting for the ducks to get into the base in order to actually deal with all this. And the airplane plant, many minutes away from being done. Flails are being pushed up at a pretty high rate, but did these ducks move in? These ducks can move in, tear apart the flails, and the gunships can come in as the ducks tear apart the razors, tear apart the airplane plant. And Silas from basically has this game as soon as he attack as soon as they attack. I apologize, I know it's kind of confusing for me to switch back and forth. They. It should be they, unless otherwise noted. <sighs> anyway. Scallop. Scallop and Grizzly on top of the ducks. Were there no conches? No, there was a conch. Okay, conch being built with metal extractor being built on top of that. It's exactly what it needs to be, and... Yeah, there's that. Ducks are built up as well, and the ducks need to move in. Ducks need to move in, and so do the gunships. Big stack of gunships. That's kind of cool, actually. The Nats practically underwater. And Nats taking a drink all the time. No, aside from you can move in. Just wait for the duck. Okay, get the ducks in and then move your forces in. 30 seconds left until this airplane plant is done. Not really a big concern. Yakubium is not going to be able to get a lot of air off that. Not a lot of anything off that, really. Getting a fusion reactor, though, which should get overdrive up quite a lot. Right now he's already they've already got one and a half times overdrive. Now up to two and a half times thanks to the fusion plant. Yakubium actually evened out with Sizedrum despite the fact that Sizedrum has the map control, though Sizedrum has not taken full advantage of map control yet. They're still working on it, they're still building up metal extractors, which is good, but not yet complete. And the ducks have moved in! They are taking out the fusion plants! Come on, take it out, take it out! I'll take a few wind generators too, but yeah, if they get rid of the fusion plant, those ducks, there we go, guess what the fusion plant? And heavily damages the commander, but doesn't quite kill it. However, regains economic advantage, or at least once the fusion reactor is done being reclaimed. Didn't kill the caretaker, that was one problem, but yeah. Kubion basically can't build much of anything else on this. Getting fusion reactor and getting flails and a mace. I mean, those ducks were kind of underused. Gotta be honest, they were kind of wasted. 
if he was more careful, he moved away as he hit the fusion reactor in the last shot. I think that Yakubium would have been able to destroy it, but yeah, they didn't manage to do that. Which is kind of unfortunate, or just take care of everything else, all the rest of the power. All the rest of these wind generators. But still, Yakubium is now quite a ways behind. Only 9 metal now. 9 metal per second with 30 energy. On the other hand, Sizedrum has nearly 30, like 25 metal. He's got, they've got overdrive. They're just about to get overdrive, and once that's up, then, yeah, 4.6. Wow, that's, once again, about two and a half times. Oh, never mind, it's not two and a half, about two times. So, Sizedrum has pulled ahead quite a lot. Just needs to go in for the kill. That's really all that's down to. Sizedrum has had this game since near the beginning. This is one of the things I dislike about casting games with newer players, is that there's a tendency... When you lack experience in an RTS game, it's really nerve-wracking to attack because you feel like you're going to lose everything when you attack. Being able to tell when you're at an advantage and when you can actually move into attack is a rather difficult skill to learn. So I can't blame Sizedrum. It's just worth pointing out. Just Sizedrum, you had quite a few chances to attack. This is... Most of the game you had a chance to attack. This is where scouting does come in, and once again, scouting is still kind of nerve-wracking, kind of hard to do. I totally understand that. Just, it's just necessary. That's the one thing. It, you kind of have to do it. I understand why it's a little hard to do, but it's something that's kind of necessary in order to actually win. Anyway, Sizedrum, getting up. A few more cranes, a few more scallops. They do have a grizzly up, and the grizzly and scallops moving in for the kills. They'll probably do it. No area is being built yet. I think Yakubia may have either forgotten about that or decided that... The flail is much more important as an investment. I mean, these blast wings coming in are kind of confirming that, but at the same time, Sizedrum's main force is ground, is amphib. That's the main force that Sizedrum has. The gunships stopped being built about five minutes ago. And double check vision. So right now, Sizedrum has vision of pretty much everything but the hill and has good knowledge of what was there in the past. Yakubium, on the other hand, doesn't even have a radar, pure line of sight, and no idea what's going on inside of their borders. And Sizedrum, so we're going to move him for the kill. This is going to be game. I'm actually going to speed it up slightly. Sorry, this is just... Not much is happening, so I'm going to speed it up. Not really much to talk about. Sizedrum so has map control. Yakubium does not. Yakubium now finally getting a fusion reactor up. Getting another one up as well. Going for terraform for the hovercrafts. However, it doesn't matter. The flails are going to die thanks to... Way too many anti-ground forces. And yeah, I was about to say, this terraform is not a bad idea because the one problem with hovercrafts in this map, at least built at the top of the ridge, is getting down. Hovercraft pathing here is see there's a ton of purple around, even the terraform spots. Hovercrafts have a very difficult time getting up and down that ridge. If not impossible, it's well, not, it's not impossible, but it's difficult. Anyway, Mace, not doing too much, and Lotus, same thing, not doing all that much. This is where Ecubium is going to basically throw in the towel. Might not even get the chance. Sizedrim... Moving in, we'll be able to get rid of this the second fusion reactor here. Basically one shot off that grizzly will kill the fusion reactor. There it goes. And Yakubian's commander is still alive. But it will go down right away. There we go. Yakubian's commander goes down with the fusion reactor. And... Wow, a Cobra on top of that? Wow, he had a lot of anti-air. Really not the way to go. Yakubian over-invested in anti-air. At this point, Sidestrom could move into attack. Or, no, not even. Razor is still up, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Yakubian has lost this game. Hovercraft platform about to be taken out. There's one flail left, but that's not really going to do much good. And that is going to be it. So. Okay, done. Sizedrum. I mean, he, he won. Definitely. He did win. Just could have been a bit faster, that's all. I say that this. Wow, I've never really looked at the water from this angle before. Really good. <laughs> Sorry, I just. I'm a little bit in awe of the water. I didn't actually notice the water on this map before. It looks really nice. Anyway, unfortunately, Yakubium not throwing in the towel. Why is Yakubium not surrendering? I don't know. Okay, Yakubium, small tip. When you Actually, everyone. When you lose, surrender. If you know you've lost, you can't rebuild. You can't do anything. Just surrender. Don't waste your opponent's time. It's really disrespectful. I know a lot of players think that it's disrespectful to not give your opponent the, the pleasure, and I'm making finger quotes here, of killing you off, but frankly, it's just a waste of time. They want to go on to the next game. They don't want to wait to try to hunt down the last few units and kill you. They just want to move on to the next game. It's really rude to not just surrender. If you know you've lost, just surrender. There really is no pleasure in destroying your opponent after the first time. 
But anyway, it doesn't matter. Ubium has been destroyed, and Sizedrim wins the match. Hopefully that was of some help. I'm not sure if I really gave all that much advice, but hopefully that was some help to both of them, and to anyone else who's watching who's kind of new. Back with another game, which will be between Exploit and Aquanim. Two considerably... Well, probably some more experienced players. I don't know. It, wasn't, it was kind of hard to find games with really experienced players. I try to do, on Saturdays, I try to do the games with higher level players, top 20 if I'm able to. Thursday, or sorry, the Tuesday most of the time, is usually the day that I go for the less experienced players, more tutorial stuff, but yeah, that that's not working out today. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Still interesting matches. Well, the first one was. This one was more of a tutorial for the players. So I'm back with another one, which will be, like I said, Exploit and Aquanim on Sapphire Shores, and that'll be in just a moment. The Sapphire Shores Dry, by the way. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> 